which is a unusual item for the munitions collector it's a civil defense train pamphlet number two objects dropped from the air issued by the Ministry of Home Security 1944 And the contents we have German bombs, high explosive bombs, incendiary bombs, mines dropped on land, parachute mines, type G mines, German photographic flash bombs, cross feed aircraft demolition bombs, German small arms ammunition, German ammunition containers, whistle attachment for screaming bombs, German containers, message tubes, auxiliary petrol tanks, wireless apparatus, German radio target beacons, German visual target beacons. Flares and flare parachutes, dye bags, meteorological balloons, leaflet carrying balloons, leaflet carrying parachutes, man carrying parachutes, black strips, British and American bombs, British and American practice bombs, British incendiary bombs, American incendiary bombs, British pyrotechnics, American pyrotechnics, British trench mortar bomb, British anti aircraft shells, British UP shells, British small arms ammunition, British balloon devices, rockets used by Royal Observer Corps, German flying bombs. And then Appendix A, B, C, General Survey of German High Explosive Weapons, Types of German Small Arms Ammunition, and the list of abbreviations. And there's a list of illustrations, which is just too much to go through, but the introduction states, This training pamphlet describes some of the objects which may be found on the ground after an air raid, including certain items which, though not of enemy origin, may be mistaken for hostile weapons, and others which may drop from the air at any time. The descriptions and the illustrations will facilitate their recognition. They should be disposed of in accordance with existing instructions. Where an abbreviation is shown in brackets after the name, it should be used in reporting. And it starts with German bombs, various illustrations from the SC-10 right up to the SD-1000 We have German HE bombs larger types One kilogram anti-personnel bomb SD-2 bombs 10 kilogram anti-personnel bombs The famous 2 kilogram anti-personnel bomb, the butterfly bomb. Radio controlled jet propelled glider bomb. Radio controlled armor piercing bomb. Parachute bomb. And the parachute bomb. Incendiary bombs. And th this book is handy for those incendiary bombs that come up at the collector's market. So if you're going to get a bomb, the chances are you're going to get an incendiary bomb because there are a lot of them about and this book is really handy for them so we have incendiary bombs there's quite a lot of detail on incendiary bombs and we have an oil bomb German oil bomb phosphorus oil bomb incendiary bomb components of incendiary bomb parachute mine type D D type C and type G parachutes for German mines type G mine type G mine Nose extension type G mine, German photographic flash bombs, crow's feet. The Germans have devices for punching the tires of aircraft and motor transport known from their shape as crow's feet. They are segments of sheet metal with four barbed points so arranged that when resting on any three points the fourth is projecting upwards. They have two sizes, in one when the foot is on the ground, the base of the triangle has three inch sides and the height of the projecting point is two and a half inches the other the corresponding measurements are two and a half inches and two inches the metal is painted green or green and khaki these devices are sometimes carried in a container 
German heavy aircraft demolition bombs, German small arms ammunition, German ammunition containers, a whistle attachment for screaming bombs, which is basically a K98 bayonet scabbard, and as it drops, the wind goes through it and makes a whistling effect. Two types of whistles sometimes attached to the vein of German high explosive bombs, causing the scream as they fall, like illustrated. These whistles are often found near the scene of a bomb explosion. One type is a black cardboard tube shaped like an organ pipe. The other model is an adapted bayonet scabbard with attachments for fastening it to one of the veins of the bomb. German containers. This is a table charting what's in German containers. Again, German containers. More German containers. More German containers. Yet more German containers. And again, German message tube, auxiliary petrol tanks, wireless apparatus, flares and flare parachutes, die bags, metrographs, meteorological balloons, leaflet carrying balloons, leaflet container. Man carrying parachutes, British and American practice bombs, infantry training bombs, so we have British HE bombs, a table of British HE bombs showing the colour and what's stenciled on them, more British HE bombs, and again another table of related detail. British incendiary bombs and miscellaneous pyrotechnics. Again, a table charting the colours, etc. American bombs. And again, a chart colour schemes. British mortar bomb. Anti aircraft shells. British UP shells. Small yellow bombs, balloon device A, incendiary socks, balloon device D, case of incendiary jelly, incendiary sock unit, can of incendiary jelly, barrage balloon attachments, Balloon line, etc. German flame bombs, a rocket used by Royal Observer Corps. This is the German flame bomb. An appendix, general survey of German HE weapons, survey of German small arms ammunition. on enemy missiles and abbreviations yeah a really good publication if you need the munitions civil defense training pamphlet number two objects dropped from the air 1944 edition it's a minefield of information and you should really try and get one especially if you've got one of those um, incendiary bombs German World War two so as you can see it is a really a useful little publication to have Objects dropped from the air, civil defence training pamphlet number 2, 1944.